I believe they cost about $30,000 to put this in. Each slab is 100 pounds. They're earthquake proof. They're built into the ground, so they're not going anywhere. Back to another luxury home tour with your host JP. Today we are in beautiful Beverly Hills, California, about to tour this amazing architectural estate with the listing agent Ryan King. So, Ryan, if you could tell us a little bit about the property, the stats, the price, go ahead. Sure. So, welcome to 9903 Anthony Place, Beverly Hills, California, 90210. We have five bedroom, four bath, just under 3,900 square feet. The lot is just under 17,000 square feet. We have brand new construction, not from the ground up, but a full gut, a full remodel inside. And we are proudly asking 4.5 million. Sounds good. Let's check it out. So before we head inside this architectural property, I wanted to take a look at the exterior with the listing agent, Ryan. So Ryan, if you could tell us a little bit about the whole design of the property and kind of the story of how it was built and what the owner intended on doing with this property. The most important thing in any home, in my opinion, is location and price. Being at the tip of a cul-de-sac up here off of Clearview is just basically unparalleled to none. So you have modern construction, nice angles, soft stucco, stone in the walls. But what's really incredible also, the attention to detail, if you'll notice, a lot of the finishings, they don't have any nails. Smooth stone coming up, great landscape, beautiful open windows that allow a lot of sunlight into the house. Great size motor court, space for plenty of cars. Got yourself a two car garage space. Why don't we head inside? All right, come inside. Beautiful, beautiful property. So one of my favorite things about when you first walk into the house is an open floor plan. Incredible layout, nice angles. The designer is very inspired by travel. So when you first walk in, you'll see this beautiful bronze tinted mirror. It has a really nice glare to it. And then over to my left right over here, we have the entrance over to the powder room. And let's go ahead and take a look inside of there real quick. So it's fully functioning three quarter bathroom, fully renovated, stone sink, fully customized shower, you know, the nines. Absolutely. And over to my right, tell me a little bit about this stair set. So I love the modern glass panel, it really adds to the nice architectural feel of the property. And then even the light paneling going up, and especially at nighttime when you're oh, going yeah. up here, uh, it's, it's really gorgeous. I love homes that feel like an experience. And when you come here day or night, you feel something especially coming up through here. Absolutely, I love it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the formal living area. Beautiful space, you have so much natural light coming in. I love this. And then tell me a little bit about this Calicata marble right here. Calicata marble made in Carrera, Italy. It's very rare. And the fact that it's aligned the way it is is incredibly hard to do. I love it. And you got the dual sided fireplace. You can actually see that over in the formal dining. We'll check that out in just a second. And then we have these sliding glass doors taking us out to the backyard, but stay tuned. We're not gonna go there just yet, but I wanna go ahead and check out this area right here. A great TV room. You have brand new oak floors, custom cabinetry, blackout curtains around, so you have a very cinematic feel. Complete surround sound built in throughout the room. All the cabinetry is soft touch, and you can never have too much storage. Absolutely. Especially with kids. Yeah. So all the games can go inside, keeping that soft, clean look. Now, I wanna go ahead and check out this right here, this glass enclosed wine room. And again, you actually see the exact same type of stone that we saw over at the stair set. This is a great little room, plenty of space for all the owner's favorite bottles of wine. Here we got the formal dining table. I love this modern light fixture displayed right above the table. Yeah, it's beautiful. I don't know the designer uh, that much more about it, but when I come in here and I see it, I love it. Very <laughs> rustic design. It really, again, adds to the architectural feel. And like I said, that actually was a dual-sided fireplace. So right. again, you have that amazing Calcutta marble, book match detail as well. So you can enjoy the fireplace in the formal living or the formal dining. Love it. And tell me a little bit about this artwork right here. So they knew that when they first walked in, one of the wow factors was to have a nice piece in the middle. So not only is it a great place to put a piece of art, but she also had the lights seamlessly installed inside. So it has that museum feel to it. It's a great place, whether you want to put an art piece or, or whatever, it's just a really nice, clean 
feel. I love that. Now we're coming inside of here. We got the informal living space right over here. And this door right over here takes us into the utility closet. We're not gonna check that out right now. But take me inside of the kitchen. We got that beautiful waterfall edge detail on the countertop. And you have, again, absolutely all of that seamless cabinetry. You got your five burner stove top. And again, you actually see that exact same Calicata marble actually double as the backsplash right over there. That's a great feature. And then over on this side of the kitchen, Got your side-by-side -side stainless steel refrigerator freezer. You got your built-in double oven space. Again, seamlessly integrated with that cabinetry. Awesome. Now we're gonna head right inside of here. We actually see that wood floor transition to a nice stone floor. Got some additional storage on this side of the wall, again, with that Calicata marble. And then we're continuing on. This is where we have bedroom number one. Inside of bedroom number one, you have this window, which brings in a lot of natural light. You got your designated closet space on this side of the wall. And I also really like the door because you actually have this modern frosted glass panel when you first enter. Continuing through, this is where we have the three quarter bathroom that we did see in the beginning of the property. And this is the second door access. And then on this side, we actually have the two car garage space. Currently we cannot walk in because it actually is being used as storage right now. But follow me right this way. We checked out the entire first floor, Ryan. And now let's go ahead and check out the backyard. just entered the amazing backyard space. We have that seamless indoor outdoor flow from the formal living room. We are brought into this amazing outdoor seating space. Again, we have some more of the hotel influences. We have that clean stonework again with the modern plant life surrounding this area. I really like this. And as we continue through the backyard, take a look at the main event. Here we have the pool space. So again, I really like the fact that this is actually up to code surrounded by these modern glass panels. And Ryan, tell me a little bit about that. So they spared no expense. I believe they cost about $30,000 to put this in. Each slab is 100 pounds. They're earthquake proof. They're built into the ground, so they're not going anywhere. Yeah. But you still can be able to you know, have safety without compromising beauty. The pool is very deep, too. You said it was uh, eight feet deep. I think deep. it's like eight feet, so eight good for diving. Eight feet deep. Amazing. At the very end of the pool as well, you take a look there. You have that beautiful water feature at the very end. And then we're also surrounded by this very tall plant life offering tons of privacy in the backyard area. Yeah. You've got three palm trees, adding a, a tranquil feel. You almost got that modern tropical feel inside of this backyard. And I really love that about this property. And continuing through right over here, we actually have an outdoor shower space, again, surrounded with this amazing stonework, very private area. Like Ryan was saying, this is a great space even to wash your dog. Super cool. No, it's great for pets. W one thing I wanted to say about the backyard is you come up to the hills for two reasons, views and privacy. Absolutely. And what's great about being out here is if you, you could hear a pin drop and it's like this 24 seven. You have that privacy, right? That's what you pay for when you come up Absolutely. here. Absolutely. Nice. Completely private. And I mean, you don't even have a neighbor behind you. You know what you have? You have this beautiful hillside with all that tropical plant life. Take a look at that. Yeah, what's great about the vegetation up there is that it keeps the hill grounded, so you never have to worry about downfall. It has great floodlights approaching the hillside. You own all the way to the top, so you don't have to worry about anyone peeking over a building on top of you. Again, privacy, 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 location, location, location. I love it. You have this massive turf area, again, a great space to, you know, have the kids play, maybe a game of soccer, you can add a putting green, great space for seating areas or barbecuing, whatever you want to do. And continuing through, we have this entire extension of the backyard and we have three sets of sliding glass doors. These take us into the informal living. These take us into the formal dining and those ones take us back into the kitchen. Again, at the end of this space, you have a nice seating space and then some more of the amazing plant life up on that hillside. Now we just checked out this tremendous backyard space. Now let's head up to the second floor. Now we have just made it up to floor number two. On this side, again, we have those amazing glass panels and follow me right down this hallway. And this is where we have office space, which is currently staged as a bedroom. Again, we actually have so much natural light coming in from those windows right over there. You got space for your mounted flat screen TV. This room does not have a closet, so that's why it is classified as an office currently. Continuing through on my left-hand side, this is where we have the bathroom space. Inside this bathroom space, you have that beautiful ambient lighting displayed below each mirror. You have this clear story window bringing in so much natural light. Got the nice floating vanity design, and this room is also included with a full-size glass enclosed walk-in shower space. You actually have the linear drainage inside that shower space too. Thought that was a really cool feature. I really like the material they used on the walls as well, surrounding the entire side of the wall. 
and it actually continues over into the shower. On my left, this is where we have the master bedroom, but we're gonna go ahead and save that for last. We have this Takashi Murakami painting with the skylight right above, bringing in a lot of natural light, showcasing this amazing piece of artwork. Over here, we've got the laundry room, space for up to two appliances inside of here. You have plenty of built-in cabinetry, natural light coming in, and you've got your built-in stainless steel sink space. A lot of families can really appreciate having a laundry space upstairs. I mean, to carry laundry downstairs, upstairs, downstairs, upstairs, all with all the kids and everything, the idea of having it upstairs is, is, is greatly appreciated by people who do a lot of laundry. Absolutely, totally agree. And this is where we have yet another bathroom. And this bathroom is pretty special. So I'm gonna let Ryan take us on a tour of this one. I love this bathroom. Oh my goodness, this bathroom makes me so happy. So I don't know about you, but I grew up needing a step stool. So the designer came in and she took one of the drawers and turned it into a stepping stool. Do you know the kind of independence a child feels to have this in their house? I mean, it just makes my heart melt. And the greatest thing about it is that when you're done using it, it literally flips back over to a drawer. So, you know, Amazing. I, I, I don't know why. I don't know, it's, I, I, I geek out over stuff like that. I think it's so I cute. I love it. It's such a great feature, you know? It's just really the small details like that that truly bring together a property of this caliber. I love it. So again, you have the dual sink design on the vanity. Again, you got a lot of natural light coming in from those windows. One thing to also notice, this standalone uh, shower head is great for kids. Uh, a lot of tubs don't have it, but if you can find one that does, um, it really makes a difference in like washing hair and the kids love it too. Yeah. And two sinks, it's not just husband and wives that love to have two sinks. The kids, the brothers and sisters, it's nice to have the independence and have your own space. Mm -hmm. And again, both have the pull out drawers um, when the kids are old enough to appreciate a shower. Yeah. Uh, so it makes a perfect kids bathroom. Totally. Love it. And as we continue through the hallway, we have this built-in desk space. It's really cool, really thoughtful design inside of here. And it looks good too. It like does. I love the cabinetry and I love the drawers. I love the, just it's a nice clean look. Yeah, modern, sleek, it's great. Mm -hmm. Then on my right-hand side, this is where we have bedroom number two. Inside of here, it's currently staged to have two twin beds, some more natural light coming in from the window, and you have your designated closet space with the floor-to-ceiling mirrors. And continuing through, we have another office space. So inside of here, this technically is bedroom number three. It is currently staged as an office space, but it actually does have the same exact closet that we did see over in bedroom number two with the floor to ceiling mirrors. And this space actually has its very own private balcony. Let's go ahead and check it out. We've got these sliding glass doors taking us out there. And that is an absolutely great feature. I mean, take a look at the views you have of Beverly Hills. Beautiful. Yeah, it's gorgeous. And at nighttime too, it shows really, really well. I love this private space. Again, it's a great opportunity to have some seating, just an overall great place to relax and bring some guests up here, right? Yeah. I love it. Yeah. And directly next to this area, we actually have bedroom number four. It is currently staged as a gym. And again, we have that exact same closet with the floor to ceiling mirrors. I really like how you have the balcony access from both of these bedrooms. And continuing through, we have checked out almost the entire second floor. We saved the best for last. Let's head into the master. So first walking into the master, you've got your oversized master closet space. Inside of the master closet, you have the center island filled with drawer spaces. Absolutely plenty of space to hold all of your accessories, your jewelry. Again, plenty of spaces to hold your clothing. You have built-in shelving displayed around this entire side of the room. And you actually have a built-in skylight displayed right above the closet, bringing in natural light, but it's still very private. And on this side of the closet, you actually have a designated vanity space and you have a built-in light fixture right above there. Thought that was super cool. And continuing through the master, you can slide these French doors back. And here we have the master bathroom space. Everything custom design, stone on the floors and the shower, big open space dual sinks, custom cabinetry, soft touch. And that floating vanity design, love that. I also love the modern light fixtures. And then again, you have that beautiful picture window bringing in so much natural light, looking out to that serene plant life. How cool is that? Now let's continue through. We have some floor to ceiling storage on this side of the wall. And here we have the main event. We've got the master bedroom. I love the modern light fixtures displayed on either side of the bed. 
And again, you have these floor to ceiling glass windows on either side of the bed as well, bringing in natural light. You also got a clear story window. You can see Beverly Hills. You can see all of the palm trees in the distance and you actually have your very own private balcony. Let's go ahead and check that out. Separated by those modern glass panels overlooking your modern backyard. You have the large turf area. You can look over at your pool, your palm trees. And again, you still have that element of privacy with the tall trees. I love it so much. I love coming out here and pretending that I'm entertaining or guests are over. Hey guys, okay, I'll be right down. <laughs> I love that feel. Yeah, this is a great, great space. And this is what you pay for. This is like the peace of mind and to be able to get away and you know regroup and gather your thoughts. You know, this is it. Yeah, very private, very quiet. Like you said, you can literally hear a pin drop out here. It's a very private area of Beverly Hills. You're at the end of a cul-de-sac. And one more feature I wanted to point out in the master before we wrap up this tour. I just love this floor to ceiling glass window, bringing in so much natural light, looking out to your plant life. Such an amazing feature inside of the master. And you also have these auto shades, which can black out all of this natural light, make it dark inside of here, make it easy to sleep. Maybe if you want to take a midday nap, you can close these all up and it feels like nighttime. It's super cool. I want to thank you all so much for watching this entire video. Shout out to Ryan for letting us tour this amazing property. I will leave all his contact info and his social media info in the description down below. Make sure to follow him. Check out what he's doing. He's a great listing agent. For all your real estate needs, check him out. I'll see you in the next one. Like, subscribe, comment. I'll see ya.